<laughs> Frank? Ken? Christian? Randy! Wait, he doesn't even work here. Engineer Hall? Mike? I don't understand this. I made the train store disappear. I made the train store disappear. I'm alone in a train store? <laughs> being in a train store all by myself oh i can hardly can stand it man here at yankee dabbler where we have a whole bunch of things like for example these kits here you know what's really cool is if you are home alone and you're looking for a kit to put together walters has all these great cornerstone kits that you can put together for example here we got a modern concrete grocery warehouse we got a small wooden coal station we have the brick post office Oh man, look at this. Intermodal yard details. And I love that. This is really cool looking stuff. The automobile transloading terminal. Ooh, and cool utility poles. You know, what's really neat about this these kits too is they're very easily um, to assemble. They have all the parts that you need. And check this out. Over here, Yankee Dabbler. I have all these glues that I can put these kits together with. For example, this is from Deluxe Materials here. I got the precision glue. I got the plastic glue. These are great glues to put together these kits with. It does a really good job. I have put some of these together with this stuff. I really like these kits. Now, I have a whole bunch of these actually on our website. If you go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, type in whatever cornerstone kit you're looking for. I bet you we have it. We'll get it shipped out to you so you can fill your railroad with a whole bunch of different structures. Oh, man. This is so great being in here. This is going to be the best day ever. They got everything. That's for the whole reason we started working this block. They got diesels, steam locomotives, decoders, oh, kits, man. everything. Oh, we man. gotta knock that store over. Yeah, come on, let, let's go. We we got this. Oh man, nothing's gonna stop this day from being awesome. You know what? I was thinking about some new rolling stock to add to my collection. Walters fit the bill with these two bay cover hoppers here. Check out these 39 foot Trinity two bay hoppers. These are really cool looking cars here. I have here the Halliburton. I like that pink color. You don't usually see a lot of pink trains. I got the Norfolk Southern. I have here the Blue Circle Cement. And then finally we have here the CSX. You know, what's neat about these cars here is they have die-cast metal wheels, but they also have die-cast metal couplers. And they're really nicely detailed here. And the thing that we're going to make these cars sell is the price. Now, these cars retail for $34.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $17.50. I mean, anytime you could get a really nice quality car here from Walters under 20 bucks. I don't know what you're doing. You got to get these on your layout. I'm going to get a nice long unit of hopper trains to pull a train. Oh, man, this is going to be awesome. So if you want to be like me, come to Yankee Dabbler or go on our website and get these on your roster today. Uh-oh. Someone's trying to get in. The signs just turn off. I thought you said it was closed. We better go hide. Come on. Alright, so someone's trying to get in for a second. You know, another neat thing that we got here just at Yankee Dabbler, just in time for the winter season, are these rotary snow plows, and I really like these from Athens here. Let's check these out here. I have here a bunch of different road names here, but the one I took out here is the Alaska one, and this is a really awesome looking 
machine here. I have the rotary snowplow, which does operate, and then it is powered with a powered B unit. So this is a really neat part of railroading history that you can have here. And of course, I have a couple other versions that we can choose from here. If you take a look down here, I have the Northern Pacific. Up here, I have a Conrail. Right here, I have a Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Up here, I have a Union Pacific. And then right here, I have a CP Rail. Now, these are just really cool looking uh, units that I have here. Let's take a look at this rotary snow plow here. And if you take a look down here, you can see I have the little plows there that are going to get the snow off the rails. I have here the uh, rotary that is going to chew that up. This is a really awesome looking type of machine here. All right, now I would love to run this on our layout. Unfortunately, this is a DC only uh, engine, so therefore I don't want to mess it up on our DCC track. However, I bet you, you could probably put a decoder in here to get this DCC ready. So this is just a really neat looking device here. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, a little bit unique to put on your rails, I highly suggest these rotary snow plows because I guarantee you probably don't have anything like it. Now the price of these rotary uh, snow plows, they retail for $189.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $151.99. So come to Yan Yankee Dabbler and get these clearing your layout of snow today. <laughs> Someone broke in. This is my train store. I have to defend it. This is it now. Don't get scared. You know what? Why I can wait? I can talk about these ES44 from Scale Trains. I really like these engines here. Let's take a look at them for a second. These are really nice. Look at these locomotives here. I have here the CSX and that dark future paint scheme. I really like the way that looks here. And then I have a couple of heritage engines here, including the Norfolk and Western. Right here, I have a really striking Lehigh Valley. I have here the Norfolk Southern. Right here I have an engine that some of us might be familiar with. This is the Conrail. I have here the Nickel Plate. Two of my favorite paint schemes, that Conrail and that Nickel Plate. I have here the Central of Georgia. The Monongahela. And finally, for our Canadian friends out there, we have the Canadian National. Now these are really great look at diesel locomotives here and I just love the way that they look. I love the way that they uh, sound and run as we'll demonstrate in a second. The neat thing about these is I love the fact that they actually paint the wheels so it looks like they're rusty as opposed to nice silver shiny wheels here. I mean this is a great looking diesel locomotive here. A lot of intricate detailing here. I do have marker lights which is awesome or ditch lights I, I meant to say. These are just great looking diesel locomotives. And I think I'm going to run this uh, can opener. You know, it's almost kind of like we've seen this recently. Now one little uh, aspect of this engine I really like, if you take a look there, you actually see, no it's not, hang on a second, now you can see it right there, you have the little walkway light here, and then on the other side I have one there as well, so that was really nice, it's a little detail there. Here's the bell, here's the horn, sounds familiar, all aboard.
Turn out. It's a great sound of diesel locomotive. It looks great. I love just the design of that ES44. Now the retail value of this engine is three four. Uh, I'm sorry, three seventy four ninety nine. But we're selling here a Yankee Dabbler for two ninety nine ninety nine. So that's a great diesel to get. Maybe a last minute Christmas gift, or just a last minute you gift because I definitely think you need an ES44 on your roster, or maybe all of them. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get that engine pulling today. So let's do a recap of everything we. Oh, here they come. I'm stuck. Me too. Well, of course you're in the same spot. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah! Come on, Ken, let's get out of here. Come on, we gotta get out of here. This kid's insane. Oh. I mean, he's kind of funny in the videos. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's gonna be the most What are those? Oh, crisis averted. Christmas is saved. Yankee Dabbler is secure. Hey, let's take a look at the things that we saw on today's show here, besides my nonsense. If you take a look here from Athern, I had these awesome rotary uh, snow plows here. Remember, these are DC powered locomotives, but they are really cool looking. I had here from Walters, I had these 39 foot Trinity two bay covered hoppers at $17.50. Can't beat that. I had here from Scale Trains these ES44s and a whole bunch of different row names and colors. They look great, they sound great, and they pull great too. And then I have a whole bunch of different Walters kits for our consideration here. Go on our website, Yankee Dabbler, type in what kit you're looking for, and we will get that sent to you so you have hours of building fun. If you were looking for something that we didn't show on today's show, well, that's okay. You have two options. One, you could go to every single one of our videos that we had at Engineer Hall's channel and see what you're looking for. Or you could just go on our search bar, yankeedabbler.com, get typed in what you're looking for. We'll get it sent out, shipped to you, so you can have hours of train fun. Once again, if you're not subscribed to the Engineer Hall channel, click that subscribe button. Where else are you going to get me doing the stupidest things possible for your train entertainment? I don't know. There's no other channel right there. All right. So click that subscribe button and get caught up on everything. I can't believe that 2023 is almost over, but 2024 is going to be awesome. A uh, new year, bunch of new trains here. I'm really looking forward to that. But you know what? Truthfully, just for this Christmas, all I really want is my train family to come back. I miss them so much. D, hey, I've been here literally the whole entire time. Uh, um, I've been standing here the whole entire time. What's going on? So wait a minute. So you let me fight all that stuff by myself? Hey, somebody got to hold the camera. Okay, I got it. Hi, Engineer Hall. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing Good today? To you. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not alone then. All right. We're going to conclude today's show with a rail fan video. We're going to go to Minersville, Pennsylvania, where we're going to take a look at the 060 Jersey Central Steam Locomotive, number 113, going through Schuylkill Haven at full speed. Although I think it's only about 20 miles an hour. But it sounds great. It looks good. So I think you really enjoy it. So for everyone here at the Engineer Hall, Yankee Dabbler, whatever channel we are doing here, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and we will see you again in 2024 
for a whole bunch of new trains. Now, if you excuse me, I got to clean up the mess that we made so uh, we can have customers to come in here. There's train bandits. They're not coming back. Woo! You know what? While we're at it, they could—they didn't steal anything, but it doesn't mean I can't. Woohoo!